the project actually comes of a notion that Detroit can help the world and that the kind of imagination, invention, new conditions, emerging citizenship in Detroit can become models for other cities around the globe. What is the city in the United States that has perhaps the greatest history of invention in a single place? I would argue that's Detroit. The idea of the architectural imagination is that it is possible to imagine new scenarios for the city through architecture, that architecture has the possibility to catalyze change. Think about how powerful it is that as architects we get to put out there different ideas that don't necessarily reinforce existing power structures. That's the kind of imagination that architecture puts on the table that other disciplines cannot put on the table. The emphasis now on stabilizing the city and stabilizing neighborhoods is on urban planning and landscape. Architecture is not part of the discussion because from the city planning director on down, everybody thinks architecture means building and not thinking. So that if you're not going to build, do you need architects at the table? Well, Monica and I would argue, yes, you do. The project for me came out of a love affair between me and Detroit. I became extremely tired of the misrepresentation of Detroit in the media. I'm sure you've heard the term um, ruin porn. And for me, this idea that Detroit is a city that quote unquote needs help is something that does not sit well with me. In doing an exhibition about projects for Detroit, we felt it incumbent upon us to also tell the viewers something about Detroit. So the My Detroit photo contest was a photography contest that we ran, asking people to submit up to five photographs each of what they consider their Detroit or My Detroit. So what visitors to the U.S. Pavilion will find is 20 different postcards and you will be able to take these postcards as souvenirs of the exhibition and souvenirs of Detroit. We, we wanted to make sure that different corners of Detroit were represented. So the four that we selected really point at different urban problems that we think are relevant to other sites across the globe but that are magnified and perhaps more poignant in the city of Detroit today. We wanted to include as broad a range of architectural thinkers in the American Pavilion as possible. So we did an open call and we got over 200 applications from across the U.S. When we looked at the applications, we wanted to make sure that they represented the diversity of architectural thinking in America. So we have very young practices that teamed up together to very distinguished, multiple award-winning practices that are well along in their careers. We felt that it was important to put on the table projects and ideas as a way of opening up a conversation as to what is, a, what is really the best thing for the city in the future. In essence, I'm hoping the architectural imagination projects, which will also be seen at the Museum of Contemporary Art in Detroit in 2017, will catch the public imagination. Because I really believe that when architecture captures the public imagination, that's when change occurs. It's not the architecture itself that causes the change, but how people react to it. They cause the change.